Engaged Lessons for the 21st Century. Dividing Rectangles into Equal Squares Videos saved on YouTube. Number one, videos are now being stored on YouTube. Two, how to run the video from YouTube. You will have to pause the video by hand after opening. B, on the computer, control key and P will pause the video and or run. Smartboard use. Bring up video on Smartboard. A, pause video at beginning. B. Open up Smart Notebook. Must be 11.4 or newer. C. Click on View, then Transparent Background. D. You may now write on the video after pausing. Promethean Board. Bring up video on your Promethean Board. A. Pause video at beginning. B. Open up Active Inspire software. C. You will now be able to write on the video after pausing. Why, hello again, gang. Listen, we have a nice video here, and we're going to talk about dividing rectangles into equal squares. And we'd like for you to pay close attention to your teacher and what we're about to present. Because you are going to have to draw on this video to solve some of the problems. Are you ready? Okay, if you would, please have a student come up to the video now. We should have a student up at the video for problem one. How many rows and columns, how many squares? You'll notice we provided for you Rows go left to right as an example. Columns go up and down. This has four rows and five columns. What we'd like for you to do is write the total number of squares per row and also columns and put the total number in each block and then the total number of squares. If you would, please pick up a device and place your answers in those respective places. Thank you. Okay, let's see what we have here. 12 squares. And you'll notice that we have one, two, three rows. Each row has one, two, three, four. And we have one, two, three, four columns. One, two, three, four columns. And each column has three squares, or a total of 12, 12, and 12. Hopefully that makes sense and your answer matched ours. If you would, please have another student come up to the video for the very next problem. And if you would, please erase your answers. Thank you. We should have a student up at the video. Now, problem two. Look at the rectangle below and determine how many rows and columns and squares. If you would, solve this problem by placing your answer here, here, and here. Please do that now. Okay, let's see what we have as an answer. We have how many rows? Five. We have one, two, three, four, five. How many columns? Four. One, two, three, four. So four times five is twenty. If you count up all these squares, your answer is twenty. If you would, please have another student come up for problem three. And while they're coming up here, if you would please erase the board. Thank you. Problem number three. We should have a new student up at the video.
Now we're trying to solve these problems in different formats. This is the third one. Uh, which object below matches the number of squares place a circle? Penny divided a rectangle into equal squares. She counted the squares by rows. She also counted by columns. Which one below looks like the one she counted? And you'll notice we have 5, 5, 5, 5, 5 plus 5 equals 30. And we have the 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 30. Which one of these objects below represent this format? Please solve this problem. Okay, hopefully you choose this one as your answer. You'll notice that we have one, two, three, four, five, six rows, and each row has one, two, three, four, five. Five squares. So that matches the first set. Over here we have one, two, three, four, five columns, and each column has one, two, three, four, five, six. Five times six is thirty. So it matches this format. If your answer matches ours, that is great. If you would, please have another student come up to the video for the very last problem. And while they're coming up here, if you would erase your answer. Thank you. Problem four. This is the very last one with this series. We want you to draw rows and columns and then find the total number of squares for each problem below. You'll notice that we have four rows and two columns, so draw a format for that. Here we have five rows and five columns. Draw a format for that and place your total number of squares in the respective spots. Up above, we provided you with what rows go like, columns, and the total. If you would, solve this problem now. Okay, here's what we have as the answer. For the first one, we have 8. Now, we can have 4 rows, 2 times 4 is 8, and this one's 25. So we have 5 rows and 5 columns. 5 times 5 is 25. If your answer matched ours, that's great. If you would, please pick up an eraser and erase the screen or board, and while you're doing that, we would like to thank you for working with us today.